Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a lipstick video in store for you. I wanted to do a video today for lipsticks because some of you I know aren't as comfortable as wearing lip color or exactly knowing what products to use, how to use them. Ultimately, for me, lipstick I think comes down to just confidence. I think anybody can wear any type of lipstick, any color lipstick that you want to wear. I know right now there are crazy trends. I've been loving uh, wearing purple lipstick and there's green, blue. Like, there are just so many outrageous colors that are starting to become popular and to me it comes down to confidence. You can wear whatever the hell you want for makeup and if you have that confidence, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm not only going to show a bright and bold color such as red or purple, but I am just going to kind of walk through basic tips for lipstick. So there are many, many, many different styles of lipstick nowadays. Um, growing up, it used to be just your standard good old tube lipstick, which there's nothing wrong with that. I still love these. However, things are progressing and there are so many options out there. So first for anyone that's just starting out getting into wearing lipstick, what I would recommend is these are great. Um, the Revlon Color Burst, they're a matte balm. So you're gonna get the color payoff of a lipstick, however, it's going to be an easier and creamier application and I feel like this starting out would be a good option for anyone that's looking to just get into lipstick. So um, there's always like these lip balms. You can do a colored lip gloss. I really like the NYX Butter Glosses. Uh, for me personally, if I am wanting real long wear, I'm gonna go with a long wear lipstick. And so I always go with the Stila um, stay all day liquid lipstick and it's nice because it's a lipstick but it comes on a dull foot applicator just like you would with lip gloss. As far as longevity of the wear during the day, to allow that color to really adhere to your lips, the best thing that you can do is apply a liner. And liners come in all different forms. This one for example is a little bit creamier of one and so it twists up. This is more of your traditional pencil where you actually have to sharpen it. Whatever you're comfortable with using, go for it. Um, I would say I love these NYX pencils because you can sharpen them and get them really precisely to a point for if you want to really get in there and line it out. But then also um, they're inexpensive and they blend really nicely even though it is a pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the process of applying your lipsticks. So the first thing that you want to do is exfoliate and moisturize your lips. You wanna make sure you're treating your lips like a canvas, just like you would with your face, exfoliating, cleansing your face. You wanna do that same thing with your lips. So what I like to do a couple of times a week is when I'm brushing my teeth, I will then brush my lips. I know this sounds kind of silly, however, it does help exfoliate. It'll rough up your lips, it'll get any excess dead skin off, and it'll give you a smooth surface to work on. So I don't do that every day, but a couple of times a week I will just take my toothbrush and brush my lips. It also helps if you are looking to have a fuller lip, brushing your lips does bring more blood flow to your lips, which then in turn has them being a little bit plumper. So that's also a little tip there. Another thing that you will want to do then is to moisturize before you apply your lipstick. I don't like to necessarily put on my moisturizer and then put on my lipstick right away because I feel like it's not really going to be able to penetrate into my lips. So the best bet that I've found is to take a Q-tip. I will roll this along any type of chapstick and then apply that to my lips because then it's allowing me to just apply a minimum amount of moisturizer to my lips so I'm not applying too much to where I feel my lipstick won't penetrate but you don't want dry lips when you're going to be applying color because you'll see any different and variations to your lip texture if you have not moisturized. I have already moisturized um, and I'm just gonna get started, I guess, in showing a couple different options. Just a nude lip liner, and this is in just natural. You're gonna just start lining the outer area of your lips, and for anyone that's looking for a fuller top lip, 
you want to start lining your actual lip line, but you can kind of blend it out a little bit further, and that way you are drawing outside of your lip, but you're not actually just drawing a line outside your lip. So for me, my left side of my lip, you can kind of tell, dips down a little. I got kicked in the face in high school playing soccer. So I have a little bit of scar tissue in my left side of my upper lip. So usually what I do to kind of counterbalance that is I overdraw this side just a little bit to kind of bring it up as well. Since this is kind of a fuller side, I need to compensate for that. Okay, so I essentially have the outer portion of my top lip outlines, so I'm going to go ahead and just fill that in. You just want to blend it. Okay, so I have my top lip filled in, and now I'm going to start with my bottom lip. So you could just run along here the same way you did with the top. However, a little tip, if you're looking to have maybe a fuller bottom lip, because maybe your top lip is fuller than your bottom, so you want to match that up, I don't have that problem, but what you can do is make this face. Shit. Okay, so all you have to do is smile with your lips closed and then draw on kind of the bottom portion on your lip. And as you can see, it brings it down below the outer area without actually looking like it. Okay, so now that I have my lips lined, I'm going to go in with my top color. And for this example, I am showing you a lip liner with a lip gloss over top. Also, what you can do a little trick is if you want to have your top lip look a little bit fuller, another option you can do is I've applied a little bit of a highlighter that helps reflect the light off of that. Um, so yeah, that's option one. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off. Okay, so now on to option two, which is red. Now, for me... I want red that's going to stay on all day no matter what. So for that, I always reach for my Stila Longwear Lipstick. The liner that I'm using is by Rimmel and it's called Red Diva. And this is an option where it's a little bit creamier and it is in a twist up form. And it helps too if you're able to rest your elbow on a table. Oh my God, I get it. So I've got that kind of roughly applied. Red lipstick is really hard. Oh my God. So red lipstick is really hard sometimes. So I just have my liner on now and I'm just gonna go over top with my color burst. But I like these because they are matte and matte colors tend to be a little bit dry on the drier side, but these have a little bit of more of a creamy consistency. So it isn't quite as drying as what you would experience with like the Stila Longwear lipstick. Um, this is going to be a balm, so it's going to have a little bit more moisture in it. 
moisture in it. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this and then I am going to show you guys one more example but with my favorite dark kind of vampy look. I gotta hurry before that damn bird comes back. So my third uh, example that I'm going to show you guys is uh, I'll use the NYX gross. I'll use the NYX liner in prune followed up by the NYX soft matte lip cream in the color Transylvania. I really, really, really love these lip creams. Uh, again, they come on an applicator like this. They aren't technically long wear, but again, picking up the matte color allows me a little bit of extra wear, I feel, because it's not sliding and slipping all over your lips when you rub them together. So I'm gonna go ahead and start lining my lips out. Okay, so once I get my lips lined to where I want them, I'm going to go over with the matte lip cream. And since this is a really dark color, I always start off with wiping off as much as I can. So this color isn't necessarily a long wear lipstick, however, you've exfoliated, you've put on uh, moisturizer, you have taken the time to line your lips, let that absorb into your lips, and then you've applied your final coat. So really all that I should have to do is carry this around me to touch up throughout the day just to make sure that this top layer of lip color is staying where I need it and staying how I need it. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to comment below any questions or suggestions that you have for future videos. I'll go ahead and leave all the information down in the description bar of the products I used in today's video in case you would like to look at purchasing any of those. And we will see you next time.